Hello everyone, we will continue the topic debugging and in this video we will cover how you can save the test data for function module using the debugging itself. You all know SC37 is the transaction code for the function module. Suppose you don't know that with the help of debugging you can save the test data for function module. Then how we are saving the test data? So I'll just go for the background of the topic and it is already covered in the modularization techniques playlist also. Suppose I'm going for a function module. This is the function module which I created in modularization techniques playlist. You can go for any function module, it is totally equivalent. Suppose I'm running this function module. I'm clicking on to this input. I'm providing the input. Suppose I'm going for I in include, sign is I, option is BT, low is high and one is high, low is one and high is five. Suppose I want to just, uh, I want to check this function module in the debugging mode or I want to check the output. Suppose I want to check the output and I simply click and I got the result. Suppose after some time or after few days or after few hours, I want to check the output of the function module. Then what we will do, I will again go to the function module I will execute the function module and I need to provide the input again. So how much time consuming it is every time we are giving the input and checking the output. So what SAP is saying, you can save that as a test data. So next time you can save that test data. So it will save your time ultimately. As of now, this function module has one input parameter. Just think about a real project in which a function module has so many parameters, then you will provide the input to those parameters again and again. No, you will always, always save that as a test data. Suppose I'm going for option sign I, option between low one and high five. Anyways, it is fully, fully explained in the modularization techniques playlist. But here, to understand the context, I just need to recap that. I just need to take a reference. Now, what I will do, I will simply, simply save this test data. So, how I will save? I have a save button here. Or I can simply go to edit, save data record. Suppose I am saving. I will just give the comment. Suppose I am saying order number. 1, 2, 5. I will go for copy. Now I am executing. I got the output. Suppose next time, whenever I am running this function module, I will use that test data. Suppose I am running this function module. Now that test data will be in the test data directory. I will use that test data directory. Now this is the test data which I saved. I will use that test data. And have you seen input came automatically? There's no need to provide the input. So this is the way how we, how we save our time. There's no need to provide the input again and again. Now we have another solution. In that case, nothing needs to be done from your end, nothing. In the debugging mode itself, SAP has given the provision that you can save the test data for the function module. And those who are very good at debugging, they will use they use these kinds of things because they will not waste their time in providing the input again and again, especially when you work in the standard transaction course like VA01, VA02, MM01. At that time, we have so many standard function module. If we will not use these things, it wastes our time a lot. So now we will learn 
how we can go for test data using that debugging itself. With the help of debugging, we'll save that test data. So nothing needs to be done from your end, which we are doing. So what we will do? We called this function module. This function module, we are calling into this particular program. Anyways, you can take the example of any program in which you have a function module. Now, what I will do, I'll put a breakpoint into this function model. Sorry, in the, not in this function, in this program itself. Now, just see, as of now, this function module has four test data. I will run this particular program. Suppose I am giving the input 1 to 10 order number. I will go for execute. Now, in this program, we are calling this function module. Now, what we will do, we we'll simply, simply, we are passing this input to this function module. I will do F5. Now, I am inside the function module. So, whatever the input is there, it is into this particular parameter, S, O, N, O. Now, what you can do, you have a button here services of that tool. Click here. Now you have a option here. Save parameter as test data and SC37 transaction code. So you will save this as a test data. Whatever that data is currently into this function module will simply simply save that as a test data. So I will click here. I will go for save parameters as test data. It will ask me what the name of the test data you want to give. Suppose I will give order number 1 to 10. I will go for OK. Now it's saved as a test data in SC37 transaction code itself. Suppose I am running this. Now, you can work on your function module independently. Now, where this function module has the test data. Suppose I am going for this function module. Now, you can simply run this function module. If I will go for test data directory, have you seen I got a test data here? I will simply, simply click and I have the order number 1 to 10. This is just a very simple example I have shown you. Just think about a real project in which we have big, big function modules. Will you provide the input to those function modules? No. What we will do, we'll simply, simply go to the debugging mode. Whenever we are going inside that function module, we'll save that as a test data then that test data remain permanent for that particular function module in the test directory. At any point of time, I can simply run the function module. I can check the various points. I can check the data, what was the data in that particular function module for that particular test case. Widely, widely used and especially technical persons, those who are good at coding, they use all these kinds of things because it wastes our time a lot. If we don't know, yes, suppose if you don't know that in the debugging also, you have a provision to save the test data for the function module. Still, you need to put the input one time, then you can save the data. But if you know that in the debugging itself, you can save the test data for the function module. So it saves our time a lot. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered that in the debugging node also, we have a provision to save the test data for the function for tools means SC37 transaction code. Previously, if you don't know what you were doing, you are providing the input, you are saving that as a test data and next time you are using that. But SAP, has given the provision that in the debugging mode itself, you can save the test data for the function module and you can use or say then as a part of that, how you can do 
you can enter into the function module. We have a button here, services of that tool, and we will get save parameter as test data SC37. You can save that. And best part, you can change the values and you can save that also as a test data because nothing needs to be done from our end. In that debugging mode, change the value and save that as a test data. And next time you can save that test data. You can run that function module. You can check everything. So that is the best way to debug. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.